Hi guys, I'm Jiaxiang Huang. So uh, today I'm gonna uh, go through my assignment one. So firstly, I will go through the Python file, which is also the web service. Uh, like uh, so, here are some library we need to import, uh, especially the Floss, which is to implement the RESTful API. And let's look at the main function. So for the main function, we use the uh, we do some options to the image we get from the client uh, client side, and we uh, transform it to a correct format. And then we use the dupe prediction function to capture the information from the uh, image. And let's look at the dupe prediction function. So here are some function for when to use to capture the detail from the image. And uh, at the end, we need to use um, uh, by using these two if uh, using the if condition and the for loop, we can get the information we need from the image, and then we put it into the uh, uh, dictionary, and then we return the dictionary. Uh, once we got the dictionary, we put the ID which we get from the client. Uh, and uh, then the finish is, uh, the dictionary is done. Uh, finally, we use the JSON file to, uh, which is also a Flask function, to uh, transform it to JSON format. So uh, then uh, let's look at the main function, which is also same as the Java main function. And when we run this uh, function, we can see the server. Oh, the server is up. So the server service is uh, starting, and uh, uh, the port is 5000. Now let's look at the doc file. Uh, doc file is the file. Uh, which we need to use to create uh, the doc image. And let's look at some details of the doc file. So, the, so for the first line, we use the from, from command to uh, uh, to load our image. Like uh, the image is based on the pattern, the uh, version of Python. And then we run some uh, update to install our dependency, like OpenCV. And uh, for the working directory, we set the server, slash server, as our working directory. And then we add the main Python file, which is also the file we need to use to uh, start our service. To, uh, to the directory we need, and then we copy the requirements, <coughs> which include the let's look at it, which includes some library <coughs> we're gonna use uh, to start our web service, and then we copy the dot means the uh, load directory. We copy all the files on the load directory to the survey, uh, server, and then we run some uh, we run this two command to install some dependency and uh, uh, load the requirements, and finally this is the, our main command we need to run run the, our web service object detection Python by using this command. Once our uh, doc file is done, yeah, that's what, like we can see uh, under my directory, uh, we can see the doc file, and uh, then we can use it to create our image, like uh, use this command, doc build <coughs> t iWebLens dot, and the iWebLens is the uh, name we set for the image. So uh, since our, the image is already created, I won't create it again. Like we can see the doc images, yeah, I have already created the iWebLens. And then uh, we can also use this command, docker run, to run this image and create a container, uh, like uh, iWebLens, I run iWebLens, and set the name uh, my iWebLens, yeah, like this. So, yeah, because my uh, container is already wrong, so I won't create it again. Like, uh, we can ch check it out. Yeah, like, uh, keep iWebLens is already wrong. So now let's look at the Kubernetes cluster and the service. So uh, once you uh, install the client of Kubernetes, you can use this command to get nodes. And then I've already created a Kubernetes the cluster, uh, and it has two nodes. The first one is the master node, and the second one is the worker nodes. And then let's look at the, our deployment YAML file. And let's look at some details of the app version, which find the app version, and the client as the deployment. And uh, this is some information of the uh, deployment. And then the specification, the specification specifi specifies uh, uh, each node, each port in the nodes. Uh, like, uh, uh, yeah, we have the three ports, and for each port, uh, we have the template and, uh, and the specific uh, container, the container name, and the image we need. Uh, so here we uh, pull our image from the Docker Hub, which we upload uh, before. And we then set the container port as uh, 5000. And uh, as required, we limited the CPU uh, as uh, 0 0.5. And then we look at the Service, config, service yeah. configuration EML. Uh, similar to the deployment EML, we set the client as a server service, and then uh, some information about this uh, service. And also, uh, the selector, we uh, we set the iWebLens as our APB, and the type is not port. The not, the not port we set it when we created the client, uh, which is uh, uh, 31000, and uh, the port and target ports. Uh, so, then we need to run our deployment and uh, service. Uh, since our my deployment and service is already run, uh, we can use the this command to to get the deployment. 
yeah, like you can see here, the deployment, yeah, the deploy is already re ready, it's already up, and also we can get the ports we created. Yeah, like we can see the three ports are running. So uh, after we set up the code uh, we can uh, use our local terminal. You can say this is my local terminal, and uh, we can run the, uh, like uh, to send an image to the service. Like this is the command we need to use. Like um, if I set the thread is three, and Oh, sorry, this is not the correct uh, directory. Let's direct to here. And then we run this command. Oh, it's written the JSON, file, JSON format. So now let's switch to our virtual machine. Uh, like we can see, so we can get a force, and it's running, and we can check the logs uh, from each of them. Like, check this. So here we can see. Yeah, like it, yeah, it's sending, uh, yeah, it's response, it's sending response. And uh, let's check another another web developer, uh, another port, and we can also see the response, and uh, we can check, and then we can see the working uh, the working balance uh, from each point. So let's look at the like our virtual machine, uh, which is also our instance. Like um, the IP address is automatically created, and for the security group, we allow HTTP request and SSH for the VM to the VM. And then uh, for this IPv4 and for IPv6 and for IPv4, uh, this is uh, allow uh, the request out and the in and by the port number 80. Um, then from our local PC, we can send uh, the request to the service by using the port 80. And uh, then we can get the response from the service, which is hello. So that's all for our assignment. Thank you.